Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy and today we'll be talking about the scientific method. So what is the scientific method? Well, as you'll see today, the scientific method is a series of steps. And the purpose of the method is to make sure that we're doing our due diligence to check information and further the field of information in science. So the scientific method is not limited to just professional scientists, but to anyone who would like to observe, form a hypothesis, predict a, an outcome, conduct an experiment, analyze their data, and then share their results with the world. Today, we'll be going over what these six steps mean so that you have a better idea of how you might apply knowledge about them when taking the high set, GED, or task test. So the first step is to observe. Let's use the example today of a plant. So perhaps I have a plant that sits by a window. And if I observe that plant, I may notice that it's growing a lot as it sits next to that window. So out of that, I'll form a hypothesis, which is like an educated guess. So I'm forming the hypothesis that the light will affect the growth of the plant and not having light may negatively affect the growth of a plant. Now, out of that hypothesis, I'm going to get the idea to maybe play around with that and do an experiment. So with that, I can predict what I think the outcome would be in different circumstances. If I leave a plant in the light by a window, it may help it to grow because of the light. And if I were to put the plant in a dark closet, it may not thrive in the same way because it does not have the light. So my prediction is that the plant will thrive in the light and die outside of it. Now, to prove that, we can't prove that that is right just by thinking about it. We have to actually conduct an experiment and see what the outcome is. So you would consider how you would put the experiment together so that you could successfully and scientifically prove that plants need light to survive as according to your hypothesis. Now, we don't conduct an experiment either to necessarily just prove what we believe. A hypothesis could be wrong, and that's okay too. Right or wrong, it still helps us to better understand the world and make steps and progress in science. After the experiment is finished, you'll analyze the data and draw a conclusion from that data. And finally, you'll share your results with the broader scientific community so that there can be an ongoing conversation about new developments. Science really is gathered from many minds and many places around the world. So here are all the steps in order and as you would take them. You observe, form a hypothesis, predict, conduct an experiment, analyze the data and draw a conclusion, and ultimately share your results. On the test, you might see keywords like hypothesis, prediction, and conclusion. You also may see problems that have to do with following the steps to this process in the correct order. And you might see things about analyzing given data to evaluate if someone else's hypothesis is correct. So you may be given the data set and they'll tell you what the person's initial hypothesis was. And you have to see, does that hypothesis hold true or is it false? Thank you so much for watching today and good luck on your science portion of your GED high set or task test. You can check out more of our Helms Academy videos on this YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. You can also find the Helms Academy on Facebook and Instagram and at helmsacademy.org.